So recently I had an idea that got me so hyped, I said, that's it, screw it, I'm doing it. And I'm gonna be the test dummy for this experiment. In a world where a decent mountain bike will cost you several thousand dollars, it's hard to make that big of a leap purchasing a new bike, whether you're a newcomer into the sport or just someone looking to upgrade. Believe me, I've had my same bike for five years and absolutely loved it, but as a husband and now father, the thought of spending that much money on another bike which could also take us on a vacation is just hard to stomach. Plus, the urge to ride something new for me has been stronger than ever after recently just spending a weekend riding my buddy's Canyon Strive CFR at Snowshoe Bike Park. And that's what actually spawned this idea. Can a budget-friendly mountain bike satisfy the average mountain bike rider, or are you better off saving up and buying a more expensive mountain bike? It's so sparkly. The photo and video does not do this justice. So the great thing about YT is you get a whole me first box with your bike order and when you open this up it's got all your manuals little label all right, so what you get in here you get a shock pump really nice carbon torque wrench and this is going to be used for your pedals your crank set they give you all the good stuff you're going to need to put this bike together plus once we get a little further in more instructions, some stickers, all sorts of good stuff. Capra Core 1 looks like it should pack an insane amount of value for the price point with it currently sitting at $22.99. Plus, I'm a huge YT fan because my current YT has held right, up so next, well. We'll the so over the around. summer, I'm gonna be putting this bike the through the paces, testing it bone stock without any upgrades to let you know, is it worth it? How does it perform? How it climbs? How it handles bike parks? How it holds up over the season of riding? And at the end of that, I'll let you know if it needs any upgrades or if I'll leave it as is, and just let you know overall, will a budget mountain bike satisfy your trail needs or is the price tag of a higher end bike necessary to have a good time? Music to my ears. There you go. That is how you're going to set up your YT Capra MX Core 1. Super simple, comes with all you need to do. You don't have to use a bike stand if you don't have one. I have a nice one, but just for the purposes of this video, I thought I'll show you how you can do it without one. Really easy, comes with everything you need. Now, all that's left to do, we gotta pump up the shock, pump up the fork, air the tires, and I'm gonna take my pedals off my other bike and stick it on this. I don't think these pedals are gonna be staying on long because I need a different color. Red's just gonna look weird on the green. I wish you could fully see it. Hopefully tomorrow, full sun, you get the full sparkle effect. We're gonna fine tune these brake levers a little bit. But other than that, rip ready. Definitely make sure you're following along with me this summer as I put this bike through the paces and answer the question, can a budget bike satisfy the average mountain bike rider? I can't wait to put this thing through the ringer and test it in all sorts of different types of terrain and variable difficulties and see what she can handle. Just in case you were wondering, I didn't put it on in this video, but the Capra does come with the Thirstmaster 6000 water bottle. I'm gonna install it. The water bottle is included with the water bottle holder. Let that suspension live. 